Okay, everybody. So we're going to talk about grids in 3D views. So when we're working in a 3D view, you can display and modify grids for your model. To change the visibility of grids in a view, you can use visibility graphics override dialog in the annotation categories tab. So let's see what that looks like first. If I go to a first plan, first floor plan, you can notice that I've got extra stuff in here I don't need, but you can notice that there are grid lines already here in this view. Now, if they were off, they would look something like this. You would see no grids at all. And the reason why those grids don't show up is a couple of reasons. Either they don't exist in the model or they are in a background or maybe they um, are just simply hidden in the view. So if we check the little light bulb at the bottom of the view control bar, we can see that uh, absolutely they are here. So some people might select them and just use the unhide category here. And then, you know, you can see is that we'll actually allow them to all return to the view. And some might do it another way. If I undo that action right there, I'm just gonna undo a couple of times and jump out of that hide. We go through the visibility graphics override, which is also seen in the view tab here. And we can push the button there. So here or there, okay? It's an annotation category. So if we push G, it'll jump us down to the Gs. You can see that the checkbox is off for the category of grids. Turned on, say okay, and your grids come back. Now, in the 3D, we also have the ability to see our grids there too. However, what we haven't seen is that yet until we got to 2022, okay? And so, as you can see, they're not here, but we, we have seen for quite some time in the visibility graphics override annotation categories is levels. So if I turn that on, you can see that they will appear here and they all represent the levels that we have in our project, okay? Now, they have since then in 2022 added it to show up in 3D for the grids, all right? Now, the in a 3D view, you can treat grids in many of the same ways as a 2D view, including the following. You can hide grids by the element or by the category, or you can filter them, or by using visibility graphic overrides dialog. So that means that if we are here, then you can add filters to them, and you can turn them on and off here. And it's also talking about using the little uh, hide and reveal action that we had here earlier, okay? But notice here in the 3D that you do not see those, by the way, okay? They, have, they work a little bit differently than other ones. Uh, we'll get to that. Um, we can change the graphics of the individual grids uh, or base on a view filter setting. We can display the grids using a half tone. That still works. You can use scope box. You can also go for changing the elevation of the grids and you can copy and cut and uh, paste them elsewhere within the model if you wanna do that. So they're absolutely become the same way as say like, you know, um, a model line. So they, they appear in all views and they absolutely can be shown off. Um, you can delete the grids, you can snap to the grids. Um, you can include some visibility templates to them if you wish as well, all right? So what I'm getting at here is how do we get them to show off in the view if it turns out that in my visibility graphics override, I go here to G for grid and you can see that it is on. And I can see that I have no filters trying to stop me from doing that. And I also can see that in my light bulb that everything is showing up that should be, and I don't have a issue with it being hidden. So <clears throat> what we would go at over here within the 3D view properties window here, it has its own little location it says show grids. And so if I put that over here, you can see kind of what that all means. There's a tool tip there for you. But more importantly, we hit this edit button here, you can start seeing that we have all the levels displayed. And so each set of grids on each level can be shown off at different places. So let's say, for example, if I throw in the floor one grids and say, okay, and then they start showing up down here. Okay, so these are all individual vertical planes too, right? So every time I select them, you can see that they show up as a vertical plane of some sort, okay? Now we can always set those grids as planes to draw on if we need to. Now I'll also check this out too, is that if I were to hit that same button again, if I go to eight, I could see eight and one at the same exact time. 
Okay, so it just so happens that they are uh, the same. Uh, they are lining up perfectly anyway, so there's no offset that's happening there. And you can see there's actually a, a little grid heads that here that you can turn on or off if you don't want to see them and whatnot. So um, pretty simple to do. Um, you can also do the weird uh, shaped grids as well. I'll go to the eighth floor and make one real quick. It's pretty simple to see this. Um, don't want to save. So if I go up and I get myself a grid, okay, and then I use a, um, you can even do it this way too. I'll, I'll just draw out a uh, segment here. I'll just go straight and let me see here. I meant to do something multi-segmented is what I really wanted to do. So I'll start straight with that. And then I'll go with a curve, like an arc or something like this. And then um, I'll go for another straight line here. I'm just getting ridiculous, okay, on, on purpose, so that we can kind of see the extreme of the tool. So you can see that that grid is out there and whatnot. So if we get out to 3D, look at this thing. It's got a crazy, crazy, crazy look to it. If I select it, then you can kind of see that it literally takes it on. Um, I've never really, you, you've, when you have reference planes and things like this, you never really get that shape out of it. So um, pretty interesting. Um, those are just an annotated, uh, a grid annotation showing up in 3D for you. Uh, if you want more information on this, you can go and check out about grids and 3D views on the Autodesk website, help. If you don't know how to get there, all you gotta do is just hit that little question mark. It will go ahead and punt you here. And you can just go ahead and type in the word that you're looking for, like 3D grids. And then you can go ahead and say about 3D grids. And here you are, and it's showing off all that stuff, giving you more detail. All right, guys, hope that this helps. Uh, if you need anything else, please contact me, give comments, you know, where you might want to use this. That might be exciting to know. All right, guys, take care.